Hello everyone, welcome to my basic tutorial on Elite Dangerous and how to start and how to, you know, just begin the game. It's it's a relatively hard game to master and and at the beginning you'll be all like, what the fuck is all this? Because I got no idea how to get started. But I'll I'll try and help you with that. So my name is Space Junks and uh, yeah, let's get started. So this is the basic menu uh, when you enter a station or a port or a city, whatever. This is a basic menu. So you got the home menu, which is all, uh, which is everything you see here. This is the news where you can see everything in the galaxy that's go been going on, local news. This is not really something that you should be worrying about at the moment. Uh, this is the most uh, interesting area. So here we got our ship. We got a Sidewinder. That's a that's the starter ship. It's extremely weak. It's extremely cheap, and it's it's basically shit. But no problem uh, because it's very easy to get a new ship, and you got a variety of choices. So here we are at Moraba Gateway. It doesn't really matter where we are right now because uh, you'll be most likely near LHS 343. If I'm correct, I'm not sure. But um. Basically, that's like a starter region. Like almost everyone starts there, so don't don't worry about that. Um, well, this is of course uh, the Feder. You got three factions in the game: the Federation, the Empire, and the Alliance. These three factions kind of fight to each other. You know, they don't really like each other. You know, at one point you can choose to um, to go to go to one faction and actually get there, but well, this is also not something you should be worrying about right now. It's the time. <laughs> Didn't see that right already. So here we have. Uh, this is also part of the faction. This is a, a commander of that faction. So don't worry about that. Uh, so this is your your money. So I got uh, 30 million, which is uh, not really that special, but it's uh, it's my it's my money. So at your uh, you most likely have zero or like 15. I, I don't know how much you start with. I I think zero. And this is your name. So here we are. So this is the market. If you join, if you get on the market, this looks all just so fucking weird. You shouldn't be worrying too much about this because this is only for like traders, and and if you really need something for a quest, you can try to buy it here. So uh, don't worry about that. I'll I'll show you that later in another episode. So here we got the universal card of graphics. This is basically when you are an explorer and you explore certain areas, you can sell. The, da the data that you get from those areas, you can sell these at stations. You, I got no data, obviously, because I don't really explore. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, contacts, here we are. Oops. So here we are, this is like uh, fines, legacy fines, and so that really speaks for itself. Bounties, That's, uh, I just redeemed my bounty. Uh, bounty vouchers, when you, when you kill a... Um, like a pirate or a, a killer, whatever. When you when you kill them, you get a bounty voucher. And believe it or not, this is from one ship, one ship. C uh, co considering the fact that a basic ship at the beginning costs, I think, 100k, you can get a basic ship really easy and really quickly. Here we have trade divines. Got no idea what that is actually. So here we are, <laughs> combat bond. So if, if you kill someone, if you kill someone in a battle, so in this game you can also join battlegrounds and you can choose which faction you represent the moment you join the battleground. You can do that all over again. So if I leave and I join again, I can join the other faction. It's no problem. And I kill some enemies, you can here pick up the combat bound. So it's like it's like bounty vouchers, only then it's, uh, it's for... Yeah, it's for warfare it's basically your pay for oh thank you for helping us here we have the mission board so this is where you do all your missions so this is uh, going to be uh, yeah
quite the pickle. Oh god, this takes so long. Alright, here we are. So, alright, what the fuck are you seeing right now? Community goals. Don't worry about that for now. Later. Alright, so here we have missions, right? Every mission, every, uh, like, every guy has different missions, different missions. So the moment you see this, uh, this icon here, it's a mission for the Federation. The Empire has, like, an eagle as icon, but it's a mission for faction, that's basically the idea. Uh, salvage, blah blah blah, support, so this is like, kill some guys on the planet, because when you see this icon, it means that it's on a planet, so this icon means like killing some guys, so probably should be like skimmers, skimmers are little robots that wander around planets, if you have the Horizons expansion, because if you don't have the Horizons expansion, you can't actually get on planets, so this is only for the people who have that expansion installed as well. Um, so yeah, you get a lot of different missions. Uh, I can all like, I can all like uh, explain them all. I'm not going to do that because <laughs> that is just too much information in one uh, in one go. Um, however, I'm going to show you really quickly what it what it means to be a sidewinder. What it means to be a pilot in um, Elite Dangerous. So what do you see here? Um, to your right, you see the social menu. Uh, by the way, when you click the middle mouse button, you can look around your ship and that activates certain menus and buttons and everything. Pretty cool, actually. When you use Q and A, you can oh, switch to the menus. So you can also use 1, 2, 3, 4. 1 being this menu, 2 being social menu, 3 being... Only for people who installed the Horizons update, by the way. This is a menu for your little car. Then we have another menu for something else, and I'll show you that later. So don't worry about that. Here we have the social menu. So this is basically the local. Hi guys. We can do everything here. Basically, just talk. That's 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 all. Here we have friends. <laughs> Here we have mills. Uh, here we have uh, well some information about regarding some quests you did and blah 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 blah. And here we have some some things like do you want auto enable voice comms? Do you want because you can actually talk to other players? It's really cool because then you hear like their uh, their message. You hear like in, in, a, in a scrambled voice, like in a radio type voice, which is pretty cool. Um, alright, no problem. We have this menu. This is basically the, the navigation, transaction, contact, sub-target, infantry menu. <laughs> so we have the, the navigation here. Um, yeah, this is pretty easy. We have uh, the, our location, our destination, so where we are going. Uh, we're not going to anything right now. Here we have, uh, so I, I'll show you this real quick. So this uh, means, this little star means the area we were in, the system, hill pa zi a system. So this star system has multiple stars because it says A. When you have two stars, the other one says B, blah, blah, blah. Molbara Gateway, that's where we are. Conflict zone. So all right, I told you about this, uh, this, this combat bonds, uh, money making stuff. This is the conflict zone that I meant. So the moment you get in here, you can choose a faction, and then you can fight for that particular faction, which is pretty useful. Here we have a, a planet that, oh, by the way, this, oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Th this is also a planet, so, yeah, all right. So here we are uh, at another planet. You can actually land on this planet because you can see a small UFO, a blue UFO near this thing, you see? Uh, by the way, this is the distance uh, to the right. This, this distance, uh, I'll show you that later. It's 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 pretty weird. Uh, so here we have a, a, the Kelly settlement that's on this system on on this planet. So here, also this is all all these three things. And the landing on a planet is only if you have the update horizons installed. So I just want to make that clear because that is pretty important. 
So here we uh, you don't really have to do that, but then you don't you can't land on planets and can't land on, on cities. So here we have some um, some cities with their security levels, which should be pretty straightforward. So this is a terminal. This is a a gigantic uh, station basically, which is nice. These are you can buy ships there. Do you can do everything on these stations? Everything that the game offers. Here we have hail party belt clusters transactions. This is basically uh, how much money, um, uh, how much like in this menu your missions will be uh, will show up and uh, the, your money and like how many how much money you can uh, make with certain things. Uh, so context, that's pretty uh, straightforward. This is the station that we're on. Sub targets. So the moment you target like. So in context, you can also target enemy ships, right? And when you get, when you do that, you have the sub targets, right? All right. In the sub targets, uh, you can like uh, select their engines and destroy their engines first, or blah blah blah, like when you're in combat. So that's really useful. Inventory. This is basically the inventory of the target that you're targeting. Then we go here, and we can see our status, our balance, the rebuy cost of our ship, which is nothing. Uh, the local bounty that we have, the local reputation that we have, the federal reputation and the rank, the empire reputation and the rank. I'm a federation guy. So, uh, oh. So we go down and we can see the system factions. This is the f These are the factions of the system that we're in. So yeah, and when you go to the left you can see our combat rank. So this is the rank of our combat, trade rank, that's the rank of our trading. <laughs> Explorer rank and the CQC rank, which is basically the uh, the um, game mode where you can fight against each other. That's basically out of this, out of the game itself. It's just a small game mode. It's pretty cool. Here we have our modules, so I can basically put this out. If uh, let me let me see, let me see. Life support. Eventually, I'm on the station right now, but eventually I'll die. Oh, here we are. Yeah, look. My auction will be deployed in five minutes because I don't have life support anymore. So keep that on active. <laughs> Fire groups, these are our weapons and our scanner. So I will show you this all later. This is our, our inventory. This is all just so much stuff. And the function, so the faction that we're in. This is the faction that I meant when you join a combat area, you can click on the faction. Landing gear, the cargo scoop, you can scoop up cargo when it falls out. Alright, let's go. So this all took way too long. It's a really hard game to uh, to explain and to, to play for the first time, so keep in mind that it will take a while for you to get used to everything. Alright, now we are above the station that we land on. Pressing R makes you go over, pressing F makes you go downward. Pressing uh, we or W. I'm so sorry. Pressing W <laughs> makes you go forward. Pressing S down. Blah 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 blah. You know, it's not as hard. So um, you see to the right. You see our ship. You see the shields around the ship. You see the health bar below it. That's the health bar with the 100%. Um, right next to that, you can see all these things that I'm pressing right now. With the uh, with the arrow keys, you can actually put more power into the engine. You'll go faster. Uh, you can put more power into the weapons. You'll shoot better. Blah blah blah. System, so your shields will recharge faster. Or you could just press on reset, and then it all goes back to normal again. Pressing L releases the landing gear. Also makes you go faster because. Well, it looks like that, I don't know why. Um, also, um, pressing top, I don't have enough energy right now because I just did it. But pressing top uh, gives you, uh, or tab, gives you a speed boost, which is very nice to avoid some things. Uh, yeah, you can see the button or the, the flashy thing, mass locked, is still intact. Not anymore. Uh, <laughs> That basically is uh, when you are so close to other stations that you can't really go in warp or go in 
frame shift drive is how they call it here because uh, I don't know that that's just something that they did I've got no idea why it's probably something to do with science uh, anyway Alright, so now we'll go to the galaxy map. Alright, brace yourself. This is the galaxy map. So it's pretty big. You can go everywhere. Where everywhere you want to. It will take a while, but you can do it. Alright, so right now we are on at Zayax, right? So you almost you'll I think that you will start right here. Uh at Friga or Chamunda and you'll go to LHS 3443 I think that is um, that is the spawn point but as we are here right now because that's where I last left off and I'm too much of a asshole to actually drive to LHS 3447 we will just go to Zex. so it's very easy you just need to uh, ignore all the information that is here because it's so much you know it's too much for one time and then you just need to press on select and pilot route right that's all that you need to do for now exit all right so now look in the, in the, in the lower middle part where you can see that radar thing look to the left and you can see this this globy thing with the with the blue dot that has that is like it's hollow you see it's it's, it's in the crosshair right now all right follow that dot until it doesn't get hollow and it's in the crosshair and you'll find your area where you need to go so again it gets hollow the blue dot gets hollow when it's far away and when you get closer it gets fooled it's a blue dot and it gets in the crosshair and you can go throttle up completely like I did like I do me. and press J now we we'll charge your frame shift drive warp if you will and now you just wait and you go there uh, yeah. Four, three, two, one, engage. Now you're in this beautiful sci-fi area <laughs> that they call frame shift, I think. Oh yeah. And you'll Oh she had a sun! Yeah, that's my reaction too. Alright, don't worry about the sun, you can just fly away from it. For some reason, they just fl almost fly into the sun. All right, so right here you got this area. So you got all these goddamn cities and blah blah blah. Right? Where you want to go? You want to go to a big ass station, which is which is this icon or that icon. Right? You see the blue dot? I need to fly to the bl blue dot again until it gets full. Right? All right, so it's 352 LS. I think that's like light, light seconds away. Now we just need to full throttle to it. And as you see that, uh, you see the radar thing blow again, right? And then you look to your right, and you see this this booster thing. Keep it in the blue. Make sure that your 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 um, your throttle. I mean the, the booster thing. I mean the throttle. Make sure your throttle throttle was in the in the blue, and then just fly towards the area you want to fly to. And when you look to your far left, you can see the distance and the speed. Now we just go back a little because we're going way too fast. The distance and the speed. The distance needs to be in the blue area on the on that uh, the thing. And the speed also needs in the blue area to be in the blue area. So you just play with that a little. It's it's hard. You need to to kind of um, yeah need to kind of get used to to the way it works. Now we're joining again in. Wait until it's in the blue area and save this engage ready. Press J 
and you'll just coastly join the beautiful whoa the beautiful area of Trichalves in Orbital. They, uh, they will try to contact me right now. So when you want to land your ship in this, don't just fly in because they will kill you. Alright? Go to this area. Go to contacts. Lock target for it to be easy. And then press on request docking with spacebar. You can press, by the way. And then they'll give you granted... Uh, they'll give you an approval to... Uh, to, to like uh, land in their in their station and then just um, oh, I got lagging. Oh, my. then try to not bounce guns everything fly safe go in I mean this looks amazing and uh, here it is here's our area press on L for the landing gear coast a little bit with Q and A, you can coast like this, Ooh. and then you see the meter where where my radar used to be. Get into the blue area, go down. <laughs> there we are, perfect. So yeah, that's the that's basically <laughs> really quickly the basics of this game. Uh, except I didn't really cover the the uh, fighting aspect of it and the outfitting but that will be all for later uh, here you can review everything and restock your ammo by the way so that's also useful to know so yeah I hope you guys liked it hope you guys learned something um, it's a really hard game to explain it's a really hard game to, to, to find out by yourself so I really hope that this tutorial helped you in a way uh, so yeah like a favorite if you enjoyed uh, subscribe, that will be really cool uh, if you did so. And uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.